Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial on backgrounds for making animations in Adobe Animate. So in this video I'm going to talk about importing your backgrounds from any image creation software like Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or Creator. It works for all of those ones or well, most of it and you can basically just import them into Adobe Animate and have it in layers just the way you drew it that way you can animate them the way you intended it to be so let's say we're going to use this background that we drew in the first video for the how to make backgrounds for your animations so i'm quickly going to open up adobe animate all right and i'm going to create a new file now just like the background that we created, you remember we had to choose Full HD. Now the Full HD was 1920 by 1080. So we choose the same thing. You can just, okay, and then the average frame rate for an animation is supposed to be 24 frames per second. So we just go to create. And now we have our 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Right here. Let me go to fit in window. Yes. 16 by 9 aspect ratio so importing your your background is very easy you simply just have to locate where the photoshop file itself is in my case this background toot that's the file that i use for this background painting that i did so i'm simply going to just drag and drop it here and now you can see Adobe Animator wants me to choose the environment. It wants me to choose the layers that I'm interested in keeping in this animation. So if I don't want this guy, I'll just take him out and I need to be left with these. So I'm just going to click import from here and it's going to import all the layers that I've taken from here. So as you can see, we have uh, layers intact. Let me drag this. You can see we have a sky layer here we have a land and we have a character and a tree just as intended so now if I decide to create a keyframe on the character layer now I can animate directly on the character layer As you can see, I can now animate the character to be walking behind the tree. But if I bring the tree, which is this layer, if I bring it below the character, you can see the character is now overlapping. So when the tree is above it, the tree is right overlapping the character. When I bring it down, the character is now overlapping it. And that doesn't affect any frame on those on that layer since the whole layer contains the whole frames i don't know if you get what i mean but basically that's it this makes it easier to animate your characters for them to interact with the environment now if there's going to be a movable object in the environment you basically have to either redraw it here in adobe animate or you prepare all of that way ahead of time in photoshop by um, cutting it out from the image itself using the content aware then to make sure the background still looks okay something like that yeah basically that's all that you have to do you just have to plan ahead of time before you import your stuff so yes that's why i like using adobe animate because i'm more into photoshop i can just drag and drop the file here now if you're using a software like clip studio paint or krita you might get you might you might have some issues moving your importing your documents here directly because those softwares come with their own file extensions creator will have that kra file extension attached to it and clip studio will have i think clip dot clip next to its access file extension 
so basically you guys have to save the document as a photoshop document so when you're saving in clip studio you just go to save as and then change the file extension to save as photoshop document let me show you an example right here so i'm opening clip studio paint so i can create a new illustration and then after doing everything here when i'm going to save i go to save as now i can change this from clip studio formats to photoshop document you just click that and when you save it's going to turn into an actual photoshop document that you can open in photoshop so by dragging this into adobe animate adobe animate is able to recognize it as a photoshop document and it's going to recognize all the layers that you did here in after in here in clip studio paint the same thing goes for all the other softwares as long as the software can save in photoshop document it will be easy to move it in here with the layers intact if it doesn't have photoshop documents there are probably other ways that you can use i'm not so familiar with those methods but i like to use the photoshop document directly and move them here if you kind of face an issue because you don't have a software that can save in photoshop documents you can basically just draw them draw the objects in different different layers on the document that you'll be doing and just render them out or let's export them out as pngs separate pngs so let's say the land alone will be a separate png with a back transparent background the tree alone will be a separate png added with a transparent background and then the sky will just be one picture then you just arrange them in adobe animate the way you want them so basically that's it that's how to import your background into adobe animate thanks for watching and hope to see you guys making new animations and i'll catch you later peace